after four incredibly long years, Black Ops is back. All right, what's up, guys, and welcome finally to Black Ops 6 multiplayer. So I just got off the plane back from New Zealand. <laughs> God, I love that joke. Obviously, we have to get to level four so we can unlock credit class. We have score streaks to see what we got in this game. We've got the Scouts, Poles, RCXD, Sam's Turret, UAV, Arc Angel Launcher, Rocket Launcher that fires two remote pilot rockets. Oh, this is from Black Ops 1. What was it called? The Valkyrie, I think? Got the heart back. Oh, I'm so glad this is on release. Oh, I'm so excited, man. It's been so long. There's no way somebody's voting for a rewind. We played that all the time in the beta. That ain't the real Dismo, is it? Hello. Is it actually the legit Dismo? Yeah, hi. No shot. Yeah, you're right. No, it's not me. We'll see. We'll see how good you do this game. That'll prove it. I'm gonna be ass, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This game looks beautiful, man. Whatever this map is, I kind of like it. You but... streaming? Ooh, nice. I am not streaming. No. So last year, the workaround of getting online early, if you didn't want to take a trip and buy a New Zealand copy of Call of Duty yourself, is you would just session join your friend. Whatever gun this is, I just popped that dude. However, Activision fixed it like literally three minutes after the game went live. Got him. Got him. And I'm shot. So they ended up fixing that. So the only way to get on early right now, if you're watching this, if you have the game on Xbox or the Xbox Game Pass, you switch your Windows region to New Zealand. You switch your Xbox account to New Zealand. And then it should let you on. Got over here. Nice. I wonder if I can, like, start headshot challenges right now. But I haven't gotten a single one. Get on top of the harp. Ooh, hair. Come on. Got him. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet. What is that? All right, I think that was the Valkyrie. Damn. Ooh, there's a headshot. Hopefully that counts. Ooh, another headshot. Another headshot? Ooh, your boy's back. Oh my god. It feels so good to play a Treyarch game, man. After that last Black Ops 4 video, it just reminded me how much... What did... Oh, it's a shock stick. Okay. It just reminded me how much I actually genuinely miss and enjoy playing a Treyarch Call of Duty. Got him. Peek me. Peek me. Come on. Peek it. Ooh, he's scared. All right. Got another scout's pulse. Got him. That's another headshot. If I'm understanding this camo grind correctly, I should be getting credit right now for all my headshots. Even though I don't even have a creative class yet, everything should be working. Guardian down. There's going to be a guy around this corner. I'm scared. I got him, though. We just got this streak. What is this? Oh. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Nope, nope. Help, help. I was so close to whatever the attack is. Oh, I didn't get a camo. All right, so that answers the question. You indeed can just unlock camos right off the rip. It is very unfortunate that they patched like the whole session join thing literally like minutes before the game even went live. Does it really hurt anybody if people join and play the game a day early? Does it really hurt? I don't think so. We're all just COD fans. We want to play Call of Duty. Decided I'm going to do marksman rifles first for the camo grind just because I feel like headshot wise, they're going to be, it's literally a one shot. Like you can't really get any better than that. Headshot. 10 headshots down. Let's go. Got another headshot. Woo! Oh! The spawn trap! <laughs> Damn, I suck. Ignore it. Execution. Here we go. Don't do it. What the? Oh my god. It's not good close quarters though. We're losing Charlie. No, we're not. Okay. What was my leg doing? Victory! Can I emote on him real quick? Ooh. All right, cool. So we did get level four. So let's go loadouts. Taylor, your play style. Yeah, I've been playing Call of Duty for like 20 years, bro. I know all about this. Yeah, so here's all the weapons. The XM4, AK-74, the Amez, Amez. Like, this was all in like the blog post. Ooh, AS Val at level 55. I cannot wait for that. Yeah, then we got all the SMGs. This is like a mini AS Val. The Tonto. Oh, this looks interesting. I kind of like that. Oh, this looks like the Brecky. LMGs, marksman rifles, base weapon locked. I can't even use this until what level? 22. So the weapon that I was getting headshots with... I can't use until I'm level 22. Well then, we're going to be using the SWAT. 
customize camos. Ooh, there it is. Here we have gold camo. This looks beautiful. Looks like the standard gold that we should always have. And then we got diamond, which geez that actually is a lot of diamonds followed by dark spine which i feel like this was one of those supply drop camos in black ops 4 zombies mastery camo literally is just a supply drop camo from black ops 4 i i don't understand that but here we go oh Apparently, this dark matter is reactive. You see all that, like, extra red? As you shoot your gun, more of these, like, red particles starts to appear. And it just... It looks so amazing, bro. For those who didn't know how the camo challenge worked this year, all you have to do is get 100 headshots for the base camo. And then you have these two special challenges, which is get 50 limbs with a 4X or higher, and then get 50 limbs with the Enforcer Combat Specialty, which I'm pretty sure that's just like having a bunch of perks of the same color. And then getting gold is just 10 double kills, followed by getting diamond is just getting three kills without dying 10 times. Incredibly easy challenges this year. But in order to unlock Dark Spine, you do have to get diamond on everything in the game because you have to get 33 diamond weapons and then followed by by that you have to get 33 dark spine weapons for dark matter so it's going to be a little bit of a grind but i mean not really let's get going i'm i'm excited i'm having fun man i've missed prayer call of duties like so incredibly bad man yeah, I don't know how long. Oh my god, packet burst. Please, no, man. That's just the one thing that ruins Call of Duty, man. Like, packet burst was like the one, it was like a small reason why I really disliked Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Not like a. I'm dead. I'm dead. It happens so often, and like, I feel so consistently that. Oh my god. You just got destroyed. Okay. This weapon's kind of fun. Level up. I feel like Packet Burst happens, like, so often and, like, so consistently that it actually, like, ruins the game that time. I think one of the clutchest things that they did, though, this year is a is allowing us to start, like, the camo grind just off the rip. You don't have to worry about leveling up your weapons. You don't have to worry about anything like that. Now you pick up a gun, you start getting headshots, it starts progressing. I think that is such, like, it's, like, a, such a small thing. I... I should have died there. How big is this map? Can you even go? You can't even go in the soccer field? That is so lame. Man. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I got one. That's all that matters. I got a headshot. I have the same logic with every Call of Duty. If I get one headshot and then die, that's progression. That's moving forward. That's a headshot. Oh, I can go upstairs? Nice. Sniper has been punished. Sniper has been punished. God, there's so many staircases, man. It gives me Verdansk flashbacks. No. I forget at times that you can literally edit your class setups like on the fly. Uh, nope, nope. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Nice. I will say this red dot is already making everything so much better. I will preface this and like warn everybody right now my excitement my enjoyment right now is purely because we haven't had a Treyarch game in four years this is the honeymoon stage of call of duty it always happens like this over every single year we're excited at, for the first couple days or for the first month and then we'll see how it is after that if you guys are on the fence still about buying the game either a the game pass is like 12 bucks you can buy it then cancel and just like almost use it as like a demo for the game that's another thing i think adding call of duty to the game pass was a huge w man the amount of people that just pay for the game pass instead of buying new games like every single year like that's just going to increase the player count tremendously lasered him i did not get as many headshots this game as i did with that other gun Ooh, can i take this elevator where's the button oh my god use elevator nice victory 2-0 That is so toxic. Yeah, you tell him, brother. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Win. Let's see. So I, I got a long barrel. Great. So I have an under barrel. No. Anything. Oh, I got an extended mag. Customize. And we got our first camo. Puke green. Or granite is what it's called, actually. But morphine injector. For if duration fatal damage puts you in last stand state. Teammates can... So they just brought back last stand. Okay. Get back. I think I'm going to vomit. Oh, I think this was from, like, the beta. The, like, the beginning. Like, the training course. Yeah. This right here would be beautiful in Black Ops 3. Just wall run across that. Mm, I miss it. I... Oh, my God. Can I... Can I stop getting hit markers? Please. 
Gosh darn it. I'm sorry, man. Speaking of wall running, I forgot where I saw it. Maybe it was like on Twitter or something like that. I don't know. I deleted Twitter off my phone like a while ago. I just hop on it when I'm on my PC. When it comes to like some news and stuff, I'm kind of pretty late because, you know, I'm just not in the loop. Sorry, Mr. Kale. I saw something that like Call of Duty 2025 or whatever Treyarch's next thing is, it already got leaked. Headshot. Okay. Dr. Doorknob. Makes sense. He was hiding behind a door. I guess the next Treyarch title or like whatever they're doing got leaked. And apparently it's going to have something to do with wall running and the Omni movement. Uh, it's too early. I don't really care that much. They're trying to use this Omni movement to also incorporate wall running, which honestly, I'm all for. I'm a bit biased towards that because, you know, if you guys have been around the channel for a hot minute, you guys know I love jetpacks. I love the advanced movement stuff. I just always thought it made Call of Duty fast. You could do some crazy ass plays. It was just fun. Personal opinion, I know a lot of people don't like the advanced movement stuff, but I'm looking forward to it. And in general, I'm just Treyarch fanboy. I love these games. Grenade kill. Yeet. Gotcha, Ligma. Another headshot. I like it. Slow and steady. Watchdog Hilo incoming on your location. Not in my house. There we go. One out of 100 score streaks down. Yeah, pro tip for anyone grinding camos. Always have just a launcher on your back. They're usually the most annoying slash like just boring camos to go for. And as people level up and, you know, they unlock the UAVs and such, you'll thank yourself when you only have that left. Descend. You're disgusting. I'm gonna send back up. Got him. Got him. All right, there is a guy up top. I'm not going to mess with... Wait, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am 100% going to mess with this guy. Dr. Doorknob, arch nemesis of this game. I feel like someone's coming up here and I'm scared. Oh my god, thank you. I'm dead. Damn it. See if I can blow this up real quick. Nice. Boom. Granite for the launcher. Meow. I love you, Dismo. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Nice. And it was a headshot. I'm so bad. I deserve to die after that. Proton, that was all you. Yo, zombie. Oh, instantly died. <laughs> Peek me. Come on, Proton. Ooh, nice. All right, Treyarch, I will send you the bill from, from my eye doctor. Victory, nice. Gross, Dr. Doorknob. That shotgun looks so much fun. I cannot wait to use this shotgun. That is Black Ops 6. I hope you guys are looking forward to more videos. I'm going to go play this game a lot more. And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, please drop a like and subscribe because I'll be throwing out a ton of Black Ops 6 content from multiplayer to zombies to campaign and eventually Warzone. You know, I'll dabble. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We already played Skyline in the, uh, in, in, the in the beta. What are we doing? <laughs> you talking about some what we doing? We voting to play it again, motherfucker. You better hope you're on my team. That's all I'm going to say. Unfortunately, I am. Nah, kick your ass, nigga. I know. <laughs>